There are five major challenges with corporate policies which deal with GBV online. First, getting internet intermediaries to respond effectively to GBV online is a slow process. The larger social networks, like Facebook and Twitter, have only recently begun to improve their approaches as a result of widespread public campaigning and demands for accountability from women's rights advocates and civil society. A review from the Association of Progressive Communications of the major social media or networking companies found that most of them have mechanisms in place to respond to common forms of violence against women online that happen on their platforms. This is usually a reporting button or an online form for privacy violations that users can complete to alert the companies to abuse. However, it's almost impossible to assess how effective these mechanisms are because there's very little public information available about how these internal review processes actually work. Questions campaigners would like answers to include, how are complaints dealt with? What is the ratio of complaint handlers to volume of complaints? What training on gender, sexuality, law, and human rights do the staff receive? What are the time limits for the review process? Are there clear policies on when complaints are escalated to law enforcement? Why is there a lack of transparency on internal decision-making processes? Why has no social media networking company made a public commitment to human rights? Why has no social media company demonstrated a clear understanding of violence against women? Second, larger United States-based companies don't engage enough with the perspectives of non-North American and European women. In 2013, Facebook, for example, had a total of 1.28 billion users. So even though Facebook has users in all regions of the world, they only engage primarily with US, North American, and European users. Third, if a woman tries and reports a crime that requires data on another Facebook or Twitter user, one of the largest challenges is the lack of international cooperation on this aspect of violence against women online. Mutual Legal Assistance Treaties, or MLATs, are the primary means through which US-based companies cooperate with law enforcement in other countries. This is primarily around criminal investigations. However, these treaties are very bureaucratic and often prevent any rapid investigation. And, until the system improves, there appears to be little option for efficient legal recourse for users outside of the US. Fourth, a point related to the one above, is that the largest platforms, Google, YouTube, and Facebook, have the majority of their policies available in more than 40 languages. However, it's clear from the user, victim, and survivor testimony that the reporting forms are not accessible to all users. This is because of language barriers. There is evidence that moderators reject reports because of language barriers. This presents challenges for non-English speaking women who try to report privacy or content violations. In one example, a woman from Bosnia and Herzegovina was alerted to a fake and slanderous Facebook profile created in her name. It was not until she received help from a women's rights organization that she was able to report the profile to Facebook because the reporting forms were all in English, a language which she didn't speak. Fifth, Despite the existence of international guidelines directing businesses in their human rights responsibilities, none of these companies demonstrates a commitment to human rights in their policies. The companies review take a prominent stance on the right to free speech. Most of them say freedom of expression is more important than promoting women's human rights, such as freedom from discrimination and violence. Most of them say freedom of expression is more important than women's access to information and expression. Some of these companies have begun to use language to support women's freedom of expression, but they still have a long way to show with actions that they mean what they say.